For some reason, the YouTube algorithm only likes it when I review Chinese or Korean films, so I am going to milk this for as long as I can. The Mermaid is a 2016 Chinese film directed by comedian Stephen Chow, who you may know from such hits as Kung Fu Hustle, Shaolin Soccer, and Fight Back to School. I read that when The Mermaid was released, it became the highest grossing movie in China at the time, and according to Variety, it's the first movie to cross 500 million at the Chinese box office, so that's kind of crazy. This isn't the kind of film I would expect to break box office records. I'm still relatively new to Chinese cinema, so I have been doing a lot of catch-up over the past two years, and I have found a lot of gems along the way. In The Mermaid, we follow a greedy businessman, Liu Xuan, played by Chao Deng. I, I know that's not how you pronounce it, but whose company has developed a high-powered sonar device to scare dolphins away from a protected island so he can use it for industrial development. Little does he know that the sonar has lethal effects and he has been unintentionally harming the local secretive mermaid population. The afflicted mermaids devise a plan to send a young mermaid named Shan, played by Yun Lin, to seduce and eventually assassinate Liu Xuan. As you probably guessed, they eventually fall in love and then other stuff happens. I thought this movie was really funny and I would love to watch it again. Stephen Chow's brand of slapstick humor cracks me up. After watching a bunch of his movies, you can kind of see his signature on everything he does. He tends to reuse some of the same jokes, but they haven't gotten old for me. One very funny gag that he uses in his films is he will have a character try to secretly kill someone, but then everything goes wrong and it ends up backfiring on the assassin. They do this hilariously in his James Bond parody from Beijing with love when a woman is trying to assassinate Stephen Chow with his own gun while his back is turned to her but his gun is a trick gun that switches off between shooting out the back and out the front and so this lady is trying to figure the gun out and she keeps accidentally shooting herself in the shoulders and Stephen Chow keeps running over to her saying what's wrong what's going on he does something similar in Kung Fu Hustle but we get a really funny scene in The Mermaid where Sean is trying to assassinate Chow Deng but everything goes wrong and this poor girl just keeps beating herself up and her target is completely oblivious to what's going on. Another really funny running gag in this movie is how the mermaids are always trying to appear so menacing and intimidating by constantly shouting and wielding crazy sea creature weapons, but then we see them struggle to walk on land with their fish tails or octopus legs flopping around and they have to shuffle under tight clothes to keep their fins and octopus legs from poking out. And it's very entertaining physical comedy. Sho Lo, who plays the uh, the octopus mermaid, was my favorite part of the movie. The biggest flaw of the mermaid is that every romantic comedy cliche is crammed in here. We have the ruthless businessman whose heart is melted by the humble girl who hates him, but she falls in love with him when she discovers his vulnerable side. But they can't be together because they're from different worlds and you know the thing. I read some negative reviews for this movie online where people were criticizing the film for having underdeveloped characters or an incoherent coherent plot. Even though I agree with those criticisms, it didn't ruin the movie for me. I even read a review where someone argued that it was offensive that the mermaids were the butt of all the jokes because they are lower on the social justice hierarchy and I'm thinking, are you out of your mind? For me, the goal of a comedy is to make me laugh, the goal of an action movie is to get my adrenaline pumping, the goal of a horror movie is to scare me, and so as long as a film executes its primary directive, then I will probably like it. I laughed consistently throughout the entire film, so therefore I consider this a great comedy. I can't say the same thing about a lot of movies that pass as comedies these days. The Mermaid is rated R, but it really shouldn't be... There is somewhat disturbing violence near the end of the film, so it's not for kids, but it's definitely not in R-rated territory for those of you who care about that stuff. 